So the Song Collector is narrated by the same person, Harry Fox Talbot, known as Fox to his friends, at two different points in life. And the, so the story opens when he's in his 70s and has been recently widowed from his adored wife, Edie. And he's sort of struggling to sort of find a way back, really, from grief and to, to, to reconnect with his family. And he's a composer, but he can't write. He's just... He's stuck and he's at sea. And the other part of the story is set just after the Second World War, when Fox is only 19 and he's narrating the story. And the house has been returned to the family, this wonderful country house. But it was used by the army during the war and it's incredibly dilapidated and they really don't have the money to restore it. And so whilst writing this, there was sort of a number of, of challenges. I had to write the same, the, the voice to feel very much as the same person, Fox at 70 and Fox at sort of 19 and, and onwards. And it had to feel like the same man, but at these two very different stages of life. And I had to get sort of the, the young voice and the old voice, and yet it really needed to feel like the same man. You had to believe this was the, the same person and to sort of sense that you know, all these things had happened to him. And one of the, the great joys, I think, of writing it was that I had um, sort of the characters that he meets as a young man are also, um, many of them are still present when he's, he's old, particularly his friendships. And there's one character I'm particularly fond of, Marcus, who's this composer and conductor who sort of is a few years older than Fox and who he really looks up to. But it was wonderful being able to explore a friendship between young men and then to revisit it when they're certainly Marcus is in his 80s and not in the best of health but again to get that sense that this is the same man and the same sort of rather um, sort of mischievous naughty um, sense of humour and um, egotism that he has in his 20s has remained with him in his, in his 80s when he has so sort of fulfills his ambitions and has become this rather grand old man and we can see the seeds of this already when he's young and it's something I really enjoy doing in fiction is sort of having a narrative that takes you far enough along that you can see a character in youth and see them again in age and see how they've changed and see how they haven't changed and sort of which traits have stayed the same and to see how those friendships have altered and um, adjusted with time and I think that's, I hope I have friends like that in, in my 80s.